Today is the day. Today is the day where we are going to turn Deep Frost Citadel, this build here, this tiny little build, we are going to finish it off. I'm hoping we're going to finish it off. We're going to turn this thing into the massive... Ah! I legit thought I would be able to stop in time like that. We're going to turn this guy here into a massive, massive fortress. I'm going to straight up say it. I'm going to straight up say it right now. When this is done, this is going to be the best thing I've ever built in my entire history of playing Minecraft. To give you a scope of what's left here, these are just the small outer towers here. This entire castle is going to go up to build height and engulf the ice farm up there completely. There's going to be four massive, massive major towers on the inside here, on the kind of the edges. There's gonna be a raised platform that covers the entire Great Hall. And then there's going to be a center, center tower that goes up pretty much to build height up here so looking at this i mean there's already quite a bit here this is just a small portion i would say probably 30 percent of what deep frost citadel will be when we're done and i said hopefully because i honestly have no idea how long it's gonna take to build all this in survival my brain might just melt before we can even start building though i need to gather supplies and that is what this is this is not a shulker monster these are actually the supplies i'm starting to gather all of this is blackstone most of this right here is deep slate not not nearly enough of what we need i need a ton of cyan wool i need i need all the warped logs I need a whole ton of polished basalt but i need more i need more than that but primarily it's really it's it's the blackstone which we can get from piglin bartering which it's slow but we can get it automatically but it's the cobbled deep slate i need this so much it's one of the prominent like predominant uh block types in the build we need just i i think 75,900. 42 chokers full. So we got some resource gathering to do. I'm not digging this stuff. Come on. No, 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 no. Instead, I put a little message out to the hermits and it turns out Jevin's got some kind of super destructo deep slate digificator extraordinaire. I, I don't know. He's offering to get me a whole ton of deep slates. So we're going to go try and meet up with him. Hmm. So Jevin says he's got a digger down here. Uh, We'll just go down there. You know, what could possibly go wrong? A little, little bit of a lighter float in. Hopefully. Jevin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing ever end there we go there is he oh there he is hello hello yo hey. what's up Tango? okay how you doing the, homie this is i'm good i'm good this is deep slate country here look at you oh yeah oh yeah okay do me a favor do me a favor uh -huh. tap the red uh, the the note block just, tap just hit it with the, your oh, hand. you and your just flying your machines hand. i don't flying machines frighten and confuse me <laughs> just okay Whoa. so all it does is just shoot tnt dupes and oh, oh, voila. oh it's dirty so, tnt go, go pick dupes. it up though it, oh. it, it gives you it, it gives you like a stack and a half every time almost okay it is kind of the best thing ever i hear i hear you're in the market for some deep sleep i mean yeah i need you know seven hundred thousand four hundred and twenty. Yeah, a lot a lot so how much like, so, what, what would you say your rate of in of like how fast could you get this per hour or whatever? I don't know. Dude, I have no idea, but I can definitely, definitely deliver you shocker boxes, like probably an entire double chest full. Oh my gosh. Within like a, with like within like a day, probably. Oh my like gosh. Okay. Two, That's so. yeah, that would be plenty. Yeah. So it, it was it just one click? Was it was did one thing? Is that it? Just like that. The only thing you have to watch out for is um I can't touch any of the honey or anything like that. Okay. So uh, occasionally you'll have to mine a few blocks and you just kind of walk it, through, pick everything it, up it and never, do it again. It never blows up this glowstone, huh? Nope. Never ever. Every time it's a- uh, Look at this. It's, it's, a, it's amazing, dude. Oh, uh, I am not really in need of diamonds. So maybe just later on if I need something that you have oh, and yeah. I don't I mean, have. It, there's like, lots of things I got that I'll be happy yeah, to barter so. with here. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of of TNT duping, but I think in this case I'll uh, I'll let it slide cuz I need it. <laughs> I need it so bad. This is this is awesome. fantastic. Okay? Awesome. I really yeah. really appreciate this and yeah, you name your price. I mean, I don't have much diamonds, but I will give you lots of whatever resources I have. Okay? Pleasure to be with you. All right, thanks. All Goodbye. Right, bye. Got to get out of here. That's not it. No, this is what I come back to. <laughs> oh, Doc! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Doc splatting me. <laughs>
Oh, we're gonna have to get him back. We're gonna have to get somebody back. I, I don't know who. Where am I? Where am I? How do I get home? I can't believe. I don't even know how he got me in my base. There's not enough space to. Oh, he's got my stuff. Okay. How did he? <laughs> where? <laughs> how did you even do that? Wasn't I in here or something? <laughs> No. Oh, you made a mistake. Oh no! Well I left vertical clearance with Doc online. What a fool! <laughs> yeah. Oh. But here you have a trophy. That's the oh. trophy. Oh, and it was a one shot. No, so yeah. nice. I mean, I don't got. I don't get wear helmets or anything. That was incredible. Uh. <laughs> Why did Thank I stand you. here? Well done, sir. Well done. Uh, another one on the list. Yeah, Beautiful. yeah. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Oh, over over here is a good way. Over here is a good way. You can go up here and then uh, it'll take you out. Is that a trap now? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Get in there. <laughs> Bye. Later. <sighs> All right, I put my uh, trophy, if that's what we're going to call it, up there with my trophy from Zed. So, yeah, so far, we've got an order out for a whole ton of Deep Slate, and uh, and we got an anvil to the face. Things are going great. But for real, it's time to get the resource acquisition train moving along. First stop is Basalt. So out here at the gold farm, the Ferris wheel, the retired Ferris wheel of sadness. But I think I've got a lot of gold here. I think this is, well, maybe not. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's, it's partially filled up here. We're going to get all that stuff converticated uh, and get it into the thing so that the guys can do the little tradey tradey so that I can get all the blackstone. But first, though, we got to stop over here at our... I don't, I don't even know how to use this thing. It's been so long. I built... Uh, hello? I'm, I'm lost. Ah, here we go. Here's the front. Yeah, I built a basalt generator here in the nether, and it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty crazy fast. I think I just stand here and... Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I need, like, uh, four or five chokers of this. So I'm trying to stay organized here. As you know, the biggest time sink to any of these builds, especially builds with lots of blackstone and lots of deep slate because there's so many block permutations. I'm trying to stay organized here to avoid the inventory management issue. So I've got all of my blackstone. I, I color coded all the shulkers here. They're all in black shulkers. I have all of my deep slate in gray shulkers and miscellaneous blocks here. I'll probably do more color coding here like the cyan's in the, in the cyan box. The, you know, the crying is in the purple box. So I should be able to just let, at a color glance be able to know what's in each chest here because eventually all these boxes, I got to bring them all to the surface before we start to build. Before we get going on the build today, though, I've been busy. I want to show you a little bit what's going on here in the dungeon. If I could find a way up right here. Uh, first thing is I finally got around to adding uh, most of the roof to level one. Let me pop in here and show you. Uh, starting pretty much here all the way back to the beginning. We finally I, oh, hey, clank quiet down We added we added a, an icy roof to all this now So it's finally enclosed and, mo and mostly ready to go Additionally, we have also finally put in a way to get from the end of level one You guys know this room this is kind of like the end room of the uh the frost crypts, whatever. I, what did I call this place? Frozen crypts? I don't, don't remember. Anyway, the way you get from here down to level two now. Hi, Scar. How you doing? We've added a little staircase here. It's actually not that little. Uh, it winds down, meanders down with a really nice, interesting, creepy palette. The lighting is just right with all the candles and stuff. And now this takes you all the way down to level two. And we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna put like a little, little extra like framing here or something. I think. But I like. We got this one here and then we got this one over here i'm probably gonna regret this oh we made it excellent yeah we added a little uh on stream we added the smoke effects in here which really adds a nice a nice little vibe in here it kind of makes it all a little bit more creepy i think which is great and then we have these stairs here i haven't added the it's, they're basically the same palette as the other ones uh but i haven't added the roof onto this one we'll get there soon uh but i like it so we have a lot of traps ideas a lot of, a lot of new, uh, things to do with hazard and stuff are going to be done in here very excited about all this but the thing i'm excited about most you guys have probably seen it of course because you're watching beatup's video you are watching his videos right he finished off the amazing amazing boat here i mean i just i cannot even begin to express how pleased and satisfied i am with this he knocked it out of the park of course as he does the decorations in here are fantastic but it, i mean it not only looks incredible it is completely functional got a captain quarters right here which is completely all decorated cannons ready to shoot out the side with with complete with cannonballs we got an air 
area over here, which is reserved for uh, some future pirates, I think are gonna go over here. And yeah, we had some fantastic ideas in the live stream about what we're gonna do here. I want, I don't know if this will be for release. I hope, I hope so. We're gonna get a, a captain, we'll say, a pirate captain in here, and he's gonna give you quests, and uh, they're gonna involve spy glasses and piratey things, and I'm super, super excited about all this. But yeah, having the boat in here is just incredible. It completely finishes up this room, makes it, it's, it's definitely the focal point of this entire level of the dungeon. Absolutely love it, B-dubs. Okay, let's get started talking about Deep Frost Citadel and what we're going to do today. We're going to be using a lot of the free cam here so we can fly around and you guys can get a good view of what is going on. Now, what you're looking at is pretty much where the fortress has been now for months, sadly. It's been stagnant as I've been working on the game and I have neglected the build, but today I am super excited to get back to this and just finish this whole thing off. Now, we're not gonna do the snow terraforming today. That's going to come later, but I'm hoping to get a lot, if not all, of the fortress done today. We're gonna do it in phases here kind of like from the bottom up and uh when we're done there's going to be a little bit of discussion about the build some of the thought processes i went through some of the things that i'm super happy with and some of the things that maybe we'll see if i'm not so happy with we'll see uh but the first thing to do is an outer wall between these outer towers again these four major towers here not counting the entry towers the, the four outer ones here uh, i need a wall around them it's not going to be fancy it's intentionally going to be a little bit blank because that is not the focus of the build it's what's beyond the walls that are really the focus so let's get let's get that done first one of the build today it's one of probably five phases and this already took i don't know many 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 hours just to get these walls up but what we got is the perimeter of the exterior walls there's going to be more in a little bit here but we've done well we've done these two towers here these are kind of this is the back uh over here these guys are kind of clones of what we got in the front there. I did a little bit of cloning here, right? I mean, castles do that, right? Fortresses do that. They, everything isn't completely unique, but I did try to break symmetry on the inner pieces, which you'll see in a bit here. But so this is going to be the back. We're going to do something special here in a little bit, okay? And then we added all these walls. We added this wall right here. We added all of this right here with this nice little uh, like mini tower jutting out here a little bit right there. We added, and then looking over the front, we added the front wall there. We added another front wall over there. And then we added this guy here where uh, the ground kind of pops up on this one here. This is all going to be covered with snow again. All the snow terraforming uh, will be done shortly. Look at, look under here. Look, look at this mob farm down here. Yeah, I should, probably, I should probably light this up just a little bit. But yeah, all this stuff will be terraformed a little bit more. We'll have snow and ice and rock coming down the cliffs here. The snow will come down off the side here. Uh, so now what I want to do is the back, okay? I've got an interesting idea here in the back. You know what? Let me get on free cam. It's a little bit easier. So for the back here, I wanted to do something a little bit special. I want there to be kind of an entrance, but not really an entrance. So instead of having a prominent entrance with a big arching gateway, I'm going to just do like a little switchback kind of staircase, like a, a precarious staircase that you have to go up the side to get to. I think you'll see that in a second. We're going to do that in the next phase. And I think we're also going to add in a bunch of platforms. This is a big phase coming up here because it's going to introduce the entire middle area of the castle. The Great Hall is going to become completely submerged or, or buried, I guess you could say. A lot of outer platforms, and then we're gonna do the inner walls, which is raising up to a giant inner area. Once we have that done, then we can get to the five extra towers in the middle.
next phase is complete and you can see the scale with which we are starting to deal with here the inner walls are up they have a lot of detail this was probably the largest amount of work in in terms of this phase here getting these walls up it's just a huge area now imagine if you will these inner fortress walls imagine if they were covered by a flat platform and we are now going to put the five prominent towers on top of this central area four at the corners and a massive one at the center that is going to reach up to the sky and unfortunately the ice farm does not fit i've already started taking parts of it down we got to take the rest of it down but the good thing is uh decked out its ice needs are mostly fulfilled at this point so i shouldn't need too much ice so at this point i'm going to go ahead and finish up the entire deep frost citadel and when we're done we're going to take a tour of the entire thing and i'm going to discuss some of the areas and and what we think about it all we take a tour let's let's take a tour we're gonna do this on free cam because there is no other way to take in the sheer size and massiveness is that even a word i don't know of this fortress first of all i am incredibly incredibly pleased with how it turned out five straight days of placing blocks probably about 50 hours straight i all i did was sleep and place blocks and eat and we finally got it done. It's, we even got the back done. We got it all done. I mean, minus the terraforming, of course, but that's going to be easy now. We're going to bring all this snow down to the ground and bring some stonework and everything and some cliff faces and everything. But like I said, that's easy. That's coming up. All right, so there's quite a few things I want to point out here and, and give you a little fly around here. This is the back right here. This is kind of that like entrance, but not an entrance. It's it's like I wanted to make it an actual like defensive position. I think when we when I terraform form the terrain here i'm gonna put like a little path that leads up the side of the mountain and it's just like a little backdoor entrance kind of thing but there's like these little these little guard uh, posts on the side here in case anyone unwanted is coming up well, you know film through arrows or something like that i don't know but you follow this switch back up here up here into this little entry house here and then you're in the castle proper here little staircases going up and around and there's just so much to explore now we have very distinct sections now we have the outer wall Walls, which I intentionally kept kind of plain with just smaller little towers there and then the inner walls very tall very prominent a little bit of detail possibly possibly a bit too repetitive that's probably something I would do differently but uh the detail is good I like it and you know it, it, it just frames the inner area quite nicely this is the side of the of the fortress over here and one of the things I really like is this extra raised area here there's like these 
kind of oval like pokey outies here yeah that's a technical term uh, these like oval oval areas that like kind of overlap over the main inner fortress and just kind of have their own little you know uh support system and everything it just adds a lot of depth another layer to the fortress and it just kind of makes it fun getting in here and exploring everything a couple things i'm very pleased with the helmet here was it was i was just making a doorway and designs and the horns just kind of appeared and then then we got a little we got a little helmet there i kind of like it of course of course we need to talk about this guy here i had to give some kind of gesture or or reference to the warden that lives here so instead of trying to do the whole warden face which quite honestly just starts to look too pixel arty and too kind of 2012 i decided to just make the mouth and make this whole top part be like drippy layers and everything and i think you know the, the mouth kind of doesn't fit but I think it looks good. I kind of love it. Other little details that like a lot of people wouldn't even notice. Look at this. There's like a little a little skull or a little like demon face here on the side. And it's it's horns turn into like little parapets or or whatever pokey things up on the top of the very tippy top of the tower there. And honestly, I think that like the thing that brings it all together is the spikes. I think I really nailed the spikes here. I like these spikes here on these mid-level towers here. This guy right here, I absolutely love. We use that on all the, like I said, the mid-range towers. And then there's the giant spiky things over over on the, on the top of the main tower. Just love it. Absolutely love it. I think we probably need something on top of here, but we're at build height. There's not much space here, so it has to fit below those points but i think we could put something there i think like an orb is a bit cliche but maybe, maybe something goes up there i'm not sure and back on me look at this view look how intimidating this is you can't even see the top up there there's so much going on here the main entrance that we did way back when i still absolutely love it with the teeth as the entrance way and everything and then it goes up there's like a little extra split right there for the overhang support and then it just goes up and up and up and there's just I, as i'm building this i was getting lost in here there's like it's, there's a lot to explore, a lot going on. I even have, where is it? Uh, some of these rooms up here. Yep, we haven't really done anything inside here. I have the beginnings of something that I started to do. Quite honestly, I ran out of time, but we could definitely decorate this room. I think like some some purple glass orbs. That seems to be a theme of the whole thing. And then standing on the, like the, the main tier overhang here, looking at the main tower here, I am so pleased with this tower. The extra support systems that I built down here because I had I had to fit it inside this certain footprint down here, but then I wanted it to get a little bit bulkier as it went up. So we added these support columns so that we can make it so we can widen up there and everything. Added some like some chains hanging down and everything, extra spikes and everything. We got these crazy symbols and everything. And then back here, all I did oh that missed the concrete there. I, I probably missed a ton of blocks. All I did is do black concrete here, and I think honestly. It, it works it works i don't really need to do an interior there it just it just doesn't need it now the one thing it still needs i think is ice i intentionally left ice off you guys remember down here on the lower levels we kind of have like little bits of ice everywhere i want to do that i mean not today obviously i want to do that at some of the higher ones have big icicles hanging off like this is the deep frost citadel right it needs the frost on it and we're gonna do that soon Probably in some live streams. <laughs> Doc's on. He's like, yeah, it's an incredible grind to me. Everyone's all the hermits like, do you ever log out? Anyways, I want to show you this. I want to show you what's going on in here, okay? Inside the fortress now. I haven't changed anything here. These are all the shulkers. These are all the shulkers for all the materials and everything I had. But watch this. I want to show you inside here, because we don't have a roof on this yet. There is an incredible incredible amount of space this is the great hall here it used to be open to the sky it's just a little teeny tiny room now and we got the towers you can see all the way up inside each one of these towers all the way up there's like a floor in one of those so you obviously it goes even higher and then the main tower here it just goes there's just look how much space is here i don't know but i think i think we might need to have decked out actually come up into one of these towers as like a little secret area I don't know. What do you guys think? And at nighttime, it's looking pretty good with all the blue flames. It does need a little bit more lighting. Another thing, as I'm doing the ice, I'm also going to add a bunch of glow lichen in some of these little darker areas here, just so you can see the detail at night and everything. Even during the day, I want to I wanted to draw in light into some of these color areas, into some of these warped wood areas. So that, as they say, is going to do it for today. There's probably about 80 hours that went into this episode. And I know, guys, I know I could have split this across the multiple 
episodes. I did this for me, quite honestly. If I tried to split this across many more episodes, it just never would have gotten done. But now it's done and we're gonna get back to building some decked out down below. So in the next few days, we're gonna be doing some live streams on twitch.tv slash tango tech. Stop by if you have questions about the build, comments, I would love to hear your thoughts on this and we're gonna be adding some ice and lighting it up, maybe doing some terraforming. So guys, I really wanna thank you for your patience while I got this crazy video out. I know it took a long time. And if you like this build, please leave a like on this video. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.